appreciate all your support and certainly appreciate your support for uh, the homeless advocacy work on. And this is our little tax referendum committee. We're trying to prepare a statement that uh, would respond to any referendum that we're anticipating might get filed. Uh, so a petition. But I'll, uh, I'll uh, Jeff, do you want to go next? Sure. Uh, Jeff Gibson here. I'm an attorney at Bassberry and Sims and uh, serve on the board at Room in the Inn. And uh, glad to have you, Council Person. Will, are you on? Need you to unmute. Mary Catherine, you want to go? Sure. Um, so I am Mary Catherine Rand, and I'm the executive director at the Mary Parish Center. Um, and we provide housing and support services to survivors of interpersonal violence. Um, thanks for joining us. Hey, Will. Hey, I'm, thanks, I'm, Will, I'm Will Family. I'm with uh, Park Center. And we're a mental health organization in Nashville, and I'm really happy to be here. So I'm going to do the um, motion, and I'll need a second, and then we'll do uh, the approval of the motion as you also indicate that you're present. So I move that the items on the meeting agenda constitute essential business of this committee. Meeting electronically is necessary to protect the health, safety, and welfare of Tennesseans, considering the COVID-19 outbreak. And any rule conflicting with governor's executive order permitting electronic meetings be suspended. Be the second, please. Second. Thank you, Mayor Catherine. Uh, Judy, will you take the role and uh, the motion? Both. Yes. Um, Jeff Gibson. Present and uh, yay. Mark Overlock. Present and yes. Mary Catherine Rand. Present and yes. Will Conley. Present. Do you vote yes? Yes. Thanks, Will. All right, we'll get started. I uh, want to make sure we take advantage of people's time. So uh, we had some assignments. Um, I don't know if Vicki Batcher is going to get to join us. She was going to, uh, I think, work with you, Judy, on trying to come up with some statements related to public safety. I don't know if you guys have been able to connect. Uh, no, I have not uh, heard from her. I'm going to um, text her right now. Okay. Uh, Mary Catherine, I wanted to ask you about the domestic violence piece. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I don't, do we give you an assignment? I can't remember. Did we give you an assignment last time? Were you? Yeah, so, so I was looking into, um, because I had reached out to the Office of Family Safety in the very beginning, and they had said, um, you know, that this would dramatically affect um, survivors. Um, and there was a possibility that it would even close the Gene Crow Advocacy Center. Um, and so I've reached back out because I was wanting to get some more information, specifically, hopefully some data about how many survivors they served at their family safety centers that were in need of housing, um, just so we could really make that link. Um, so I'm just waiting to hear back. So I will continue to, you know, kind of check in and hopefully get that in there. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, good news is the referendum has not uh, reared its ugly head yet. So, uh, Jeff, I'm going to punt to you. I know you were going to try to work on overhauling this whole thing. I don't know if you've had a chance to do that yet. I'm guessing you have not. <clears throat> Well, um, I, I did make a, a series of revisions. Um, I'm trying to open the Word document Judy sent this morning. Yeah, last time you did a bang up job uh, helping, but go ahead. I don't interrupt you. No, no, you're good. I, 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 can, I can try to pull it up on the screen if you'd like to. Okay, yeah, I think I, Judy, help me remember, but I think after the last meeting I made, um, I made a series of revisions and, and this is the version that, that's now in front of the, the committee. Yes, and then I added two par paragraphs, one about the Barnes Fund and one about the downtown permanent supportive housing. I got that um, from the mayor's office, there was that language uh, about those two, how they will be uh, impacted. So that's the document I sent out with those um, changes in it. 
And uh, Kenya, can you give me the presentation ball so I can um, I can pull it up, share the my screen. Thank you so much. And then I just try to scroll as you're talking uh, to the right place or let me know if I need to scroll down. Okay, I, th I think the preliminary drafting note and draft introduction or where we need to be with the one, I still have the question about who's issuing the statement. Um, I, I think I think we landed on it being the Homelessness Planning Council. So I, I agree. That, that, that's fine to accept that. Um, you can delete that comment. Um, if we roll down to um, Judy, if you'll go down to the to the impacts of the referendum on the various city uh, programs, you know, we struck. Um, sorry, Judy, go back up just a little bit. Oh, there you go. Okay, center stone. I want the center stone paragraph. Yeah. So we um, we talked last time about the. Uh, you know the uh, the slowdown at Centerstone because of the potential uh, impact. We, we we I think we all agreed that was perhaps too too squishy for lack of a better word. To <laughs> we, we, we deleted we deleted that. Yep. Um, okay. If we scroll down to let's let's scroll down and look at your uh, additions, Judy. I think these are the ones that we all need to review as we as we are here. So the Barnes Fund and the Downtown Permanents. Permanent supportive housing paragraphs are new, so if everyone can take a moment to review those, maybe we can just revise them on the call. On the uh, the Barnes Fund, I'm wondering if the <clears throat> if we want to start with we're a referendum on the tax increase to pass in 2021. I wonder, do we need to say that? Because isn't that a, isn't that sort of an assumption that if it passes, this is the effect, so we don't have to repeat that statement? I believe that's right. Well, and, if, and also one other thing, if, if you look up at the paragraph that leads into this bullet point list, it says, this would likely result in the termination of the following critically important ah. program. Nice. Um, maybe we ought to soften that language because we're really talking about impacts, not termination. Um, so what if what if that initial paragraph instead of say, it says so the first sentence I think is fine. If a referendum were to pass, the homeless uh, impact division would lo likely lose one half of its fiscal year budget. How about we say this would likely result in the following significant impacts? to critically important programs. Beautiful. We're a poet. <laughs> I'm also a big believer in not splitting infinitives. So we would say likely would lose, for example. <clears throat> or likely would result. I see. Yeah. We had a professor at Vanderbilt Law School who used to harangue us about uh, Star Trek where to go boldly go where no man's gone before, and it was to go boldly, <laughs> which wouldn't have worked for the show. <laughs> See, I, I've long gotten over any distaste for splitting <laughs> There's just some times where you've got to use them. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, so back to the Barnes paragraph. Uh, so we, I think we'd want to recast. I think in that second sentence is pretty compound. I want to wonder if we want to break it up just a little bit. Yeah, I, so I think maybe we just do we, we just delete the first sentence altogether. Yeah. I agree. Uh, Mary Catherine and Will, uh, Jeff and Judy and Uncle Mark are dominating here. So <laughs> shout out. Yeah. Well, shout out. Y'all are doing a great job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I did when I read the Barnes blurb, uh, I was trying to read it like somebody that didn't know what, what the heck the Barnes Fund is. Yes. And so I just like, I don't know if we should put 
affordable housing in the first sentence or something about that, but um, I know it's kind of at the end, like it talks about the scale of affordable housing in Nashville, which is also a little fuzzy maybe, but anyway. Well, all of the other, all of the other paragraphs start with a sentence that explains what whatever the issue is and, and what it does. Mm -hmm. Maybe why don't we start with, you know, the Barnes Fund is, and then a brief explanation before then listing, you know, the potential detrimental impacts that this would have. Do we all agree that this one's going to necessarily be a little bit loosey goosey? It's, I mean, Barnes so. Fund at one point under Megan Barry was going to be 30 million. And correct me if I'm wrong, the last year or two, it's been 10 million. Um, and I, I'm not sure what it is now in this year's budget. But I, I'm glad. So, for example, the room in the in paragraph is real great because it just describes what the program does. But that's great. So it's the first housing trust fund to leverage affordable housing developments throughout Davidson County. Um, makes comp competitive grants to nonprofit housing developers to increase affordable housing options for Nashvillians. Why don't, why don't we just say that? And <laughs> yeah, why don't we just say that? Because that, that's that's very much in line with the prior paragraphs, which is just state the benefit and what it does rather than getting into the potential impact. Mary Catherine, can you uh, like email that to Judy? Yeah, that place, that'd be great. Nice find. Um. I heard from Vicky. I'm asking um, Kenya. I just sent you her email address. If you could resend a uh, Webex invitation to her, um, she can't find hers. Well, it looks like she just joined. Okay, cool. This needs to unmute. It's been sent. Good morning. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> good, good. Vicky, we almost just ended the meeting. I mean, without you, like. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> well. <laughs> We're okay. anxious to get your public safety input as well. So okay. well, glad you could join us. Yes. Okay. With that, did I miss any sorry, I was I was trying to multitask here. Did I miss anything on, on uh the Barnes Fund? Uh so um anything else except for the first? Any changes I need to make? Uh Mary Catherine's gonna send you some language we think we, we think that, that paragraph should really just give an overview of what the Barnes Fund is, um, instead of trying to to lay out potential impacts. Um, that, that, you know, the other paragraphs just really give some some overview of the program, uh, rather than than getting into the details on on impacts. Good point, Jeff. Thank you for clarifying. It's really helpful. I just sent that to you, Judy. Got it. Well, same thing with the uh, the next paragraph on permanent supportive housing. I don't yeah. think we need to say, you know, if the referendum. Has. Well, and again, I, I would I would recommend there just just giving a, a brief one to two sentence overview of what the downtown permanent supportive housing initiative is. So, uh, if you will say, go ahead. Uh, uh, my apologies, Mark. No, no, please continue. Well, I was going to say we could maybe that paragraph could, could read downtown permanent permanent supportive housing PSH currently in the planning stages is an initiative aiming to build housing for 81 to 82 people currently experiencing housing housing or excuse me, experiencing homelessness. And I love your active that. voice. Love the active voice. That was great. <laughs> maybe we just leave it at that. Perfect. Yep. Everybody agree with that? Yeah, sounds good. Yes. Will? So the next one is domestic violence and uh, Mary Catherine, you're still working on the baseline research. So hopefully we'll have it the next few days. Yeah. 
So uh, just if you run into a roadblock, uh, Mary Catherine, go ahead and reach out to Judy and she can in turn reach out to us and maybe, you know, we can spread the research capacity a little bit, if assuming you can't get what you need. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, thanks. And then we still need uh, some language about public safety reductions. Okay. Um, when I was thinking about the language for that and to not address the homelessness issue with public safety, I was looking at um, how many people are moving to Nashville, additional officers are going to be needed on uh, patrol to, to assist. Um, that's where I was going to try to make that language go and keep the public safety and homelessness away, you know, because I don't, I don't want people to be fearful of homelessness. Um, so I think if, if it's addressed, um, so many more people are moving to Nashville, um, you know, we need additional officers on duty, you know, for different situations coming up. Let me ask you a dumb question. This is just my paranoia. Do you think by including it at all, the implication is it relates to homelessness? And I don't have an answer to that question. Yet. And I throw it out to the group. So I'm not sure how to, if we include it, are we necessarily implying the connection to homelessness? Oh my God, we're, even though we don't mention it in a bullet, the, the direct connection. It, People say, oh, yeah, you know, you're right. You know, there's going to be the homeless people running around wild. But we don't have the least. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to stop us from putting public safety in. I agree. In how to finesse it poetically. Yeah, I, I agree with you completely. And uh, when I was thinking about the language, it was like, well, why can't the police department come up with their own? <laughs> you know, we've got enough to handle with the with the homelessness issue. Um, why can't the police department release their own statement and then just totally omit that? I think that actually makes a lot of sense, frankly. Okay. Um, yeah. I think I'm so. not trying to. I'm not trying to get you steer you away. It was, you know, we no. wrestled with this idea. I'm glad. And frankly, you gave us what I really appreciate is the <laughs> the insight that you know we don't want to scare people. <laughs> Exactly. They're, they're scared enough having to pay more taxes. You know, right. we, we don't want to put them over the top. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Very good. Great insight. Uh, Jeff, you were sort of leading us through the letter. What are, I think I jumped, made us jump ahead too fast. No, that, that's okay. I, I mean, I, I think once the, um, I think once the Barnes Fund and the Downtown Permanent Supportive Housing paragraphs are revised, I, I don't know that I have any other substantial uh, revisions to, to propose. Uh, the only other question I have is on the second paragraph on page one, we say insert in all caps, uh, as if we're going to provide more information uh, about programs available to assist people. So uh, yes, that, that I, I was going to lean on um, hopefully Judy and Mary Catherine and Will um, or anybody else who knows what 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 assistance programs there may be for people who are you know facing rent and and, and mortgage problems as a result of uh, increased well decreased economic uh, income and and what is the potential for for increased rental costs um there is a so there is the work to turn in nashville which is a um the most extensive resource directory uh, or United Way website or 211 that we can put there where people can go. So the United Way website is really uh, right now focused on COVID, but it really boils down when people have um, currently rent assistance or, or you know, it, it lists um, opportunity to for, for people. It's not just for homelessness, but for uh, people that also need to prevent their homelessness. Um, and and where the current funding is so right now it, it depends when we're gonna send this out or when the tax referendum comes around 
but I, I guess uh, since COVID is around, that's that's a good resource website that is very easy to maneuver. I find. Yeah, and so we're not trying. I'm glad we sort of discussed this. Uh, and Jeff, thanks for helping bring it back up. I don't think it's our job in this statement to provide an annotated <laughs> research list. It's just here's an example, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's uh, perfect. So if you want to give us that link, we'll insert it. We can certainly take a look at it when we send out the draft. Just let me know what kind of, if, if you want. So Where to Turn International is really more homelessness specific. The United Way um, website is really um, right now for COVID. And then two for one is any, any, anybody, you know. Okay. So you just tell me which one you think is more appropriate here. Well, I'll, I'll tell you when I when I drafted that paragraph and put the insert, what I was really hoping was, perhaps naively, that there was some website that that served as kind of a clearinghouse for information on where renters could go to get assistance. That, that's really what I had in mind. Um, mm -hmm. As opposed to, you know, as opposed to highlighting one organization over another. Well, what I'd love, yeah. what I'd love to do, um, and frankly, if if Metro doesn't do this, maybe this is something, something somebody at Metro, you know, in Metro could do. But it would be great to have a, um, you know, a website that that lists different different resources that folks facing uh, rental uh, pressures could could turn to. That's that's right now the United Way website. That's exactly. I'm going to yeah. send the link. Okay. That's what it is. It's like Metro Action Commission is on there, uh, okay. and a neat link is on there. Rooftop is on a different, um, you know, where people can actually go for for assistance, uh, mm -hmm. links and numbers. That's what it's, and it's oh. more condensed than the work to turn in Nashville, which is really comprehensive and really it's harder to maneuver in my mind because when when people you know, it's uh, the, the starting point. I'm right now uh, directing people to the United Way website because that's a partnership this metric that they have, and they're, they're doing that. Yes. Perfect. That, that's exactly what I was hoping existed. Okay. Well, the good news is, uh, in two hours after Biden takes office, I heard he's reinstituting the protections against uh, evictions and so forth. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're efficient. Can I just brag on us? You're more efficient when I come in late. <laughs> it's all about you, Vicky. No. <laughs> all right. Anything else? Do we need that preliminary note thing at the very top? Thank you. Um, Let's get rid of it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I, look. I, now, the reason why I said it, I thought it might be included in the introduction. Like, the, the oh, you're thing. you're right. You're 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 exactly right. I think it is. I think it is covered. Sorry, Will. No, you're good. Yeah, you're you're right. I, I think we covered that in the introduction. My, my apologies. And of course, we can take out the phrase "draft introduction." <laughs> So the next question, I guess we we have. Sorry if I'm jumping the gun, but sorry, I need to under. So are we taking off this entire? Yes. Just, okay. Um, are we? What's the thought of the committee on on recommendation with regard to releasing this this uh, statement? Is it something that come that we release proactively? Is it something we release in response to a referendum filed i mean and, and i guess we I, ultimately i guess it's the, the homelessness planning council who makes that decision but I, but I guess we need to make a recommendation or or i guess we could present it to the council without a recommendation and, and leave it to you know to discussion in the broader broader body i think that's an ex those are excellent tactical mm -hmm. questions i was going to suggest uh that because Every time the homelessness planning council meets, they ask us, "Hey, what have y'all been up to? How, what's your progress on this, on yeah. this statement?" So uh, once we get it finished, uh, certainly we want to present it to the council. 
Um, my sense is, and I'm inferring that from your uh, points, Jeff, is that we release it once the referendum's filed. Mm -hmm. But that, you know, that's a great question. I think we need to think this through a little bit. Do we want to release it early before the referendum's filed so it starts getting in sort of the public sort of people's mind? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have thought of it that way until you asked that question. It's a really great, great question. Could I make, um, so I'm going to jump in and just to, first of all, knowing the Homelessness Planning Council, I think it's really good if you come up with uh, some release recommendation for the Homelessness Planning Council to consider, and then to pick up where we left off last time to really look at what the target audiences is, because that's also where some uh, education can happen. <coughs> so you can discuss you can release it to some of the target audiences early without putting it out to the public or or something like that. Yeah, in press, in press um, PSAs, you'll sometimes see embargoed for release. So you sort of send a draft um, and the press su supposedly knows they're not allowed to issue it. Well, that's a good question. Well, maybe. Oh, for example, maybe. Sorry. Oh. I guess I'm thinking, um, usually I'd rather be proactive than reactive, but um, I think the committee was formed, the committee was formed so that we would be prepared to release something if, when, if and when it's filed, which doesn't mean that our purpose can't change. Um, I guess I'm, my only maybe trepidation is if some of this stuff changes, um, which I mean, probably it's probably broad enough that we're okay. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Can I, can I make a suggestion on, on that? Maybe let, let's get this in absolutely final form and everyone can, can read it again, thoughtfully considering you know those questions you know what what's what's our what's our audience and what's our timing and and, and maybe that could be you know I, I think we're pretty much there on the substance so maybe our next meeting can really be a, a deep dive into those topics so just to, i think that's a great suggestion jeff uh, do we want so we've been meeting every two weeks do we want to meet next wednesday Give ourselves sort of seven days to sort of mull this over, finalize the draft. Because um, I wouldn't, I'm not sure how soon this referendum is going to be filed, uh, but we may <laughs> we may have a homeless. The next time the homelessness planning council meets, the referendum may already be filed. Does that make sense? Does. So, yeah, yeah, I think that makes sense. So does it, can everybody meet? Let's see, Here, look at my new calendar. Um, I'm sorry, go ahead, Judy. I will be in training, but I can send somebody in staff to take notes and help. Yeah, so can you guys do the 27th, 830? Yes. Yes. Will? I'll change some things around yes. to where yeah, I can, can make it. <laughs> Thank you, Vicki. All right, so Judy, if you'll work to get that publicly noticed and all that stuff. Uh, yes, I will um, immediately do the agenda. And what I do is um, put it tentative agenda and get with ITS until I get the call in information. And as soon as I have that updated on the agenda, that's all we need, you know, so yeah. I, I can go ahead and cover that. Yeah. A stupid question. Judy and Jeff, are you two sort of leads now to finish this draft, get it in final form for us? Yeah, I was going to suggest, Judy, if you want to uh, send to me, after you've made the revisions today, if you want to send it to me, I'm happy to give it a final read and, and you know, send back to you what I would view as the final version. Yes. Thank you both. Okay. Um, anything else? So we're going to mull over strategy uh, and visit about it next Wednesday. And by that time, we'll have the final draft. So just a few minutes to do a final read and then think it through. Uh, so oh, I don't want to get ahead of us, but uh, 
we still wanted a domestic violence piece. So we may have to, frankly, add that piece later. Does that make sense? So we can always have an ex we'll have a placeholder, if you will, uh, mm -hmm. just in our minds. We can always add domestic violence. I'll try to get that sure for our next meeting. I'll just start hounding some folks. Be nice to no violence. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else for the good of the group? I'm trying to read this. Oh, sorry. Do I need to share it? One more. Sorry. Oh, wait. Where are you? Looks like you're on the last page, Judy. Yeah. Where, where do I need to go? <laughs> Somebody. There we are. There you are. I like that. Let me know if I need to scroll. Oh, keep scrolling. Okay, I got a question. Room in the Inn is mentioned, but the Nashville Rescue Mission is not. Um, they are not receiving any metro funds, any government funds, so they will not be affected by this. Gotcha. Gotcha. Me to scroll? Just let me know when you need me to scroll. Oh, I'm ready. I don't know if anybody else is. There we go. And remember, part of what you're reading is yet to be edited. So, you know, what we're remember the bullet points are just simply a description of each program, rather than here's what's going to be cut. Okay. Okay. Mary Catherine, I'm always remembering part of the jargon of domestic violence. You hear people say DV, DV. Got to watch out for DV. Wow. I know. I was probably saying it myself. <laughs> hey, Judy, I just want to thank you. Give you a shout out for uh, reaching out to the mayor's office, getting them to help us a little bit. That was great. Yes. Councilmember Hauser, I know you're on mute. Uh, I think with your permission, we're going to send you a copy of this and you can uh, take a look at what the, sort of the final draft. I'd love to have your input. Okay. Thank you.
So we can take out that very last paragraph, Judy, about the, yeah, the public safety. Insert one, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, which one? Very the last public paragraph. safety. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think this is how the Declaration of Independence was written, although they couldn't do the computerized redlining. I was just like, that's what I was like. They had a <laughs> computer, just a frame around their faces and they met in one room. Can you imagine how much paper they went through? <laughs> oh. Vicki, you good? Yes. Yes. So you'll, you'll get another chance. We also all will get another chance to take another pass at this. So. Okay. But Jeff and Judy, thank you so much for uh, doing the final final stitching up. That's great. Anything else? I think we need to give each other kudos. You know, we're not taking a whole hour here. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. All right. So we'll see you on the third. If uh, rather than uh, uh, I'll take a motion. Yeah, thank you. Yes, my apologies. 27. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank y'all. Take care. Bye. Thanks, All everybody. Right.